It's a really good time to buy small cap stocks now. Uh, I think this is uh, the pause that refreshes this correction we've had since uh, the, the market peaked out in August. I think we're probably down about 13.5% since that time. And uh, we're going into earnings season now. Uh, September and October are always tough months for the stock market, especially small caps. And, you know, so far, I think that uh, earnings growth is uh, looking okay for small caps. Let's talk about one stock you like in particular. That's Grand Canyon Education. What, what is it that you like? Yeah, Grand Canyon is a, is a great company. It's been one of the best growth stocks we've had in our portfolio since they went public back in 2008. What Grand Canyon is, it's uh, both a not-for-profit uh, university out in Arizona as well as it's a services company. They split the two businesses uh, middle of this year. And uh, Grand Canyon has about 90,000 students, uh, both uh, online and on their ground campus in total. And Grand, Sa and Grand Canyon Education is a service company that basically provides marketing, admission help, back office technology services to it, and will take on other uh, clients uh, along the way. You know, Jim Cramer mentioned this stock earlier this month, and his concern was that people wait until after the election to see what happens. He said, Republicans, these stocks tend to do well under Republican uh, leadership, but when it comes to the Democrats, they seem uh, look at this entire category as, as, as sort of predatory. What, what do you say to that concern? Well, I think that, uh, you know, the, the for-profit uh, education stocks uh, all took a beating uh, back, uh, back when they changed some of the laws under the Obama administration. But I think that uh, since the new uh, administration has been here, uh, regulation has eased up a little. And a lot of the for-profit colleges have certainly changed their, their marketing modes. But that's one of the reasons why Grand Canyon split into two businesses. Now that Grand Canyon University is a not-for-profit, it makes it a whole different ball game. less uh, regulations on that. So they're, they're treated the same as any other uh, not-for-profit college. And the service side of their business is a very, very profitable piece that they can do for Grand Canyon as well as for other schools. Mike, another stock you like is Dave & Buster's Entertainment. Is that a, a call on the consumer, or is this something very specific to Dave & Buster? Well, I, I wouldn't necessarily say it's a call on the consumer, but what we like about Dave & Buster is it's one, been one of the best uh, growth stories in the, the restaurant and entertainment space. Uh, they, they grow uh, probably uh, double digits uh, every year from here in terms of units. We think they can double the store base. Uh, they have struggled on the comp store side. They've had five consecutive quarters of down comps. We think this quarter will be the last quarter, and then we'll start to see a positive inflection there. And uh, as far as what we like about the business is, a lot of their profits are driven by the entertainment side, so it's a unique concept. And with the new uh, virtual reality uh, games that they've put in the locations, we're seeing a nice uptick in the business.